Hello, so today I'm going to be trying out all five shades from the Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink Coffee Edition. So we have five shades total, ranging from light, we've got three lighter shades and two darker, and I'm going to be testing out all five shades on my skin tone and showing you what they look like. And I want to thank Maybelline so much for sending me these products, I absolutely love trying out new things and I'm so excited to be partnering with them again for the fall as a Maybelline College Ambassador at Florida State University. So if you know anything about the Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink line then you know that the original shades have a very strong vanilla scent so this is that but fall edition. Now we got a coffee scent and I wish I could encompass a scent and send it to you digitally but I can't but I am descriptive with my words, so I do my best to describe what each of these smell like, but really you gotta smell them for yourself because it is really crazy how they got that scent in these little bottles. So let's get into all these shades and how they look and wear. First we're gonna do the scent test. This one I would say has like the most subtle scent to it. If you've tried any of the Superstay matte ink lipsticks and then you know that they have a strong vanilla scent to them so i get that hint to it but also like coffee it just smells like a morning cup of coffee i absolutely love these applicators because they are so precise and it's so easy to apply without needing a lip liner before so i'm gonna go in with my lips just as is and let's see how the shade looks Alright, well first off, that was with one swipe, one dip into this product, and I covered my entire lips with plenty more on the applicator still. This is shade 255, Chai Genius On, I've let it sit and dry a bit, and I really like this shade. This is like such a fall color to me, I think it looks really good, I'm actually really liking it. This is definitely more of a cool tone, but I really like the shade and I think that this would be really flattering on a lot of complexions. And this is the lightest shade. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and let's try another shade. So now going in with the second shade from this line is number 260, Hazelnut Hypnotizer. So this one definitely has a distinctly different scent than the first one. I would say it has less of the vanilla scent and a little bit more of the coffee scent to it, but the shade looks really pretty and I'm very excited to try it out. So let's go ahead and put this color to the test. I'm gonna let this shade dry a bit, but as it's drying, this shade is clearly a little bit more on the warm tone than the 255. This is more of a nude that I would gravitate towards. Don't really like too much of the cool tone, um, but this is a really beautiful shade. Again, this just like calls fall to me. This is a fall shade and it's super flattering. I would love to see what this would look like on other complexions. I really, really like this. I'm definitely going to be gravitating towards this one a lot. So this is shade 260, Hazelnut Hypnotizer. On the lips, it's fully dried. This is definitely how the natural color will look. As with all of the Superstay liquid lipsticks, this is on to stay. It is not moving, it is staying on, whether you're eating, you're drinking, whatever it is, it can withhold. So that's another reason why I absolutely love this line is that you can have faith in your lipstick. You don't need to worry about like, oh God, do I only have lip liner on right now? No, it is staying. You might have to reapply a little bit on the inner lip, which is usually what I have to do, um, but definitely a lot later on in the day than I would with a regular cream lipstick. So I love this shade and I am very excited to check out the next one, so let's get into it. So now moving on to shade 265 Caramel Collector. Smell test. Huh. Wow, I, I'm not even kidding. I just like took a deep breath and like felt like I was transported into like a Halloween store. <laughs> and it definitely is gonna sound like a lie, but I swear to God. 
It just has like a artificial like pumpkin coffee scent. And obviously it's artificial. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in like, you know, when you try and extract a scent and put it somewhere where it is not the origin of the scent, like pure coffee or pure pumpkin, it obviously always has that kind of like artificial scent to it. So you know how like Halloween stores just, I don't know. I'm not even going to get into it, but borderline message, the story is that this smells like Halloween, this smells like fall, this smells like coffee, this smells like pumpkin, and I love it. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, let's get right into this. Oh yeah. Wow, I love this shade. Again, that was just one swipe of product. So this product, a little bit, goes a long, long way. And the applicator makes it so amazing that you don't even need a lip liner. Or a lot of times I'll use a brush to get a really precise line. But the way that this applicator is shaped and the density of it, you don't even need to worry. Maybelline has got you covered. Okay, so this, this shade is a lot more warm, a lot more orange than the 260. This that I have on my lips right now is 265. So as the line progresses, it goes from cool, light nude, warmer nude, even warmer nude, and then we transition into the two darker shades right here. So this shade, I am a huge fan of it. I actually think that this is my favorite shade from the line. I thought I liked the last one the best, but something about this pumpkin orangey tone I just really like it and I love the smell of this one as well so next we're going in with shade 270 Coco Concierge which that name I just love it it flows so nicely so first off smell test Again, okay, so I think as we go through the line, it is losing the vanilla scent and just getting more rich with the coffee scent. This one... Yeah, this just smells like coffee. I don't know what else to put it as. Let's let's go ahead and see how the shade looks on the lips. Oh, she is dark. This shade is dark. I kind of like it though. I never gravitate towards shades this dark, um, but it's a vibe. I think this is such a beautiful shade for fall. I would love to get a little bit more adventurous and gravitate towards these kind of darker shades on a regular basis. So let's see what is in store for me this fall. I think that with these at my immediate disposal, I am going to gravitate towards these kind of shades. So it's still got a little bit of a shimmer to it, um, not fully dried yet, but um, I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. So this is shade 270 Coco Concierge. Also, I, I want you to be here for this process. Like, just watch how difficult this is to get off. In a good way, like it stays on forever. And how often do you put lipstick on and take it off right away? It's just like for showing and tutorial purposes, but. I mean, that's as much as I got off in like the 30 swipes that I've just done. This stuff is here to stay. So now we're going in with the last shade. This is 275 Mocha Inventor. Smell test. This one smells the most like, it smells like a Dunkachino. It smells like coffee and chocolate mixed together. I would say this has the the richest scent to it. You know, I'm like taking, I'm like saying one word and like, but, huh, yeah, it smells really good. This smells the most like coffee. It's beautiful, it smells so good. So the shade is very dark. Uh, let's, let's see how it looks. I 
and it's very dark. This is like a bit jarring for my taste in nude shades. Also, this is another reason why I won't really gravitate towards this dark of a shade. I like to kind of stay around my um, lip shade, maybe a little bit darker, never really any lighter. Um, but because, like, I don't like that this line. I would probably have to apply this on the inner lip a lot more because there's such a drastic change in um, color difference there. This shade probably isn't really meant for someone with my complexion. It would look a lot better in someone with a little bit of darker skin. But um, since I'm trying out the whole line, what we would hope and expect in a any kind of line is that there would be a range of very light to very dark shades so that it could flatter everyone include everyone with all types of different skin tone and skin colors, complexions, all of the above. So I think that this line definitely did a beautiful job of having range and diversity to it. I think these two shades are a little bit on the darker side. It could be the mood, the vibe you're going for, but this would be so beautiful on darker skin. So now that we've gone through all five shades, right now I have my favorite shade on. 265 Caramel Collector. I think that this is super flattering for my skin tone and I always love a nice orangey lip, especially for the fall time. I think they did an amazing job of encompassing the scent of fall, of coffee, into these little products. And like I said, a little bit of product goes such a long way. I honestly cannot even imagine going through a whole bottle of liquid lipstick. There is so much product in here. It is well worth the price point. I think all these shades are super flattering and really diverse. I love that within five shades that they were able to encompass a range that is inclusive. I have seen a few of my fellow Maybelline College Ambassadors who have darker complexion than I wear some of these shades and they look absolutely beautiful. I will insert some of those pictures here. They look stunning with their complexion, so I think they really did a good job encompassing the scent of coffee and just fall into these little, little bottles, so they did an amazing job with that. There will be a link in my description if you would like to purchase these products. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you get a chance to smell and to pick these up for yourself. Thanks for watching.